Volunteering can happen when people engage in a continuous and regular way over an extended period of time. The impact and scope of this volunteering can be divided into two categories. The first being those where people are direct beneficiaries of the actions. These actions can be in various fields, such as social services and health, sports, art and culture, education and learning. Other actions can be related to improving the environment and typically involve little or no direct interaction with the people who would take advantage of the improved environment. These kinds of activities can be, for example, in the fields of ecology, wildlife and animals, technological developments and activities related to the conservation and restoration of infrastructure, such as historical buildings. For many people, engaging as a volunteer in a sporadic and ad hoc way is more accessible and suitable for their situations, interests and lifestyle. This can be sporadic, unplanned volunteering, when trained volunteers react to disaster situations, for example floods, fires, avalanches, earthquakes, and make themselves available to support the relief effort. Another type of sporadic volunteering is planned and is generally connected to the organisation of events. These can be big events that would happen anyway but in a less cost-effective way than if volunteers were not involved, such as big music festivals or global sporting events. Volunteers are crucial for the planning, implementation and follow-up of small events that wouldn't happen at all without those volunteers due to the limitations of available resources. Support organisations such as volunteer centres and volunteer platforms are an important part of the volunteering ecosystem, as are mentors and those who advocate for better volunteering policies and programmes, and for the causes that volunteers dedicate their time, energy, commitment and expertise to.